Our project is the AR Advisor. I'm Rainer Dizon. I'm Angel Solis. And I'm John Dye. Our goal with this augmented reality motorcycle helmet is to create a helmet that has a lot of different functionalities to it. First off will be a clear LCD display that can be found on a second visor inside of the normal helmet visor. Um, on that, the driver can display whatever information they would like, which has been pulled from the motorcycle, such as speed, ambient temperature, tire pressure, anything along those lines. Um, I, on top of that, the helmet will be Bluetooth connected to the user's cell phone uh, so that the helmet can then make and receive calls uh, via voice commands as well as inform the user if they've received a text message and possibly read that text message to them. Um, in order to make all this happen, we're going to be using a BeagleBone Black microcontroller which will be doing all of our audio processing as well as video processing. It also has a Bluetooth module connected to it to be able to connect to the phone to be able to give and and take information from the phone. Also, for preliminary testing purposes, we're going to be using an OBD2 uh, module to be able to uh, connect to the car, uh, Rainer's car specifically, uh, to be able to connect to a car to give us information um, from the car to the microcontroller uh, as we're testing. Uh, because this technology is more readily available, once we get this working, we will then expand it into the canvas of a motorcycle. So now we're going to talk about the voice recognition feature that, that we have working so far. And here's our setup. You see, uh, we have a uh, sound card right here. This is just for testing purposes. And as you can see, uh, Angel here is going to be the one testing testing the, uh, the voice recognition app, and I'm just recording the video. Okay, so um, for the voice recognition, uh, we decided to use Pocket Sphinx as well as Sphinx Space to actually do the voice recognition. Um, for those programs, you need to give them your own library, and I mean dictionary. And for our dictionary, uh, we only included four words, uh, call, speed, end call, and answer. So if you run the, uh, the script that we made for launching all the voice recognition stuff, Uh, now that it's ready to listen, uh, I can start saying things and it'll try to pick up what I'm saying. So here we go. Call. As you can see, it actually displays the word call right here on screen, showing that it actually heard that. Speed. Now it's showing the word speed right there. Uh, the speed 45 is just a test. Um, now for the next one. And call. As you can see, it displayed end call and answer. And as you can see, it displayed answer. Um, another thing you can do is you can actually chain a bunch of commands together. So if I were to try uh, speed, speed, call, and call answer, We get something similar to what I said. There's a few errors there, here and there as it can't detect everything. This is a demonstration of the OBD2 connectivity to the BeagleBone Black via Bluetooth. And the OBD2 module is connected to my car. And I'm running the bash script here, which set up the Bluetooth and pairs the uh, BeagleBone Black to the OBD module. And as you can see here, the, the screen is cleared and the speed and RPM is being updated. And that's because that's a Python script that we wrote, which parses through and converts the data to their to useful data. And with speed here, speed is actually uh, is a hex, is in, is in hex, and we need to convert that into an integer. And that integer is in kilometers per hour. So we have to use uh, we have to divide it by 1.6 to get the miles per hour that we need for. Uh, our display and for RPM it also comes in as a hex and when when it when we convert that into integer it, it's actually in quarter of RPMs and so we have to divide that by four to to get our actual RPM and we have to update it every second uh, for for now but on the actual device we have to uh, update it continuously in terms of the video that, that you see here on, on the screen, um, actually I was driving the vehicle while um, John was recording the video and Angel was on my laptop controlling the BeagleBone Black. So that's why the video quality is a little shaky here, but 
you know, it's, it's just a, it's just a demonstration. So this is this is the our module. A special thanks to Dr. Greg for being our instructor throughout this process. Dr. Harris for for being an advisor to our group, and for Dr. Venki for also being an advisor. That's our project.